Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a love reading for a sign of Capricorn, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal, uh, personal reading, I'll leave that in the description down below. The only thing you can do is now we have memberships on the channel, so you can go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks if you want to. So getting into your reading, at the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy, is going to be the Four of Cups reverse. Okay, so there, it is very clear that there was a missed opportunity for you to hear. Like, you know, you actually could have had something good here, but it just slipped away. So having a look at the past between you and your person, we have the Three of Swords reverse. We have the World. Two of Pentacles reverse. Feels like this, this is, uh, something that's over. I feel like it did cause hurt at first when it was first happening, but I feel like you're either you or them is moving on from that. Could have been another person involved, but either way, it feels like it it it's over, basically. Let's have a look at their feelings towards you, and that's the devil. Capricorn energy. We have the Lovers Reverse, Gemini energy, King of Pentacles, Earth energy. Okay. Capricorn, since you two have had this fallout, this disconnect, this uh, separation, I don't know why, but for some reason it's like they kind of view you negatively. And, and since then, they've decided to kind of be more about themselves. Like, I don't see them thinking of you in a positive way or really having a lot of emotions for you. It's like they, they think about you negatively. Even if you didn't do anything to them, they just think that way of you. So having a look at your feelings towards them, we have the Five of Pentacles averse. We have the King of Cups reverse, this is water energy, Ace of Wands. Capricorn, I don't see you having that much emotions for this person, but for some reason it's like you want, if you have Five of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands. Five of Pentacles reverse can be like return of something, Ace of Wands can be like a start. So, I don't really see you having a lot of emotions like you used to, a lot of feelings like you used to, but I do see you, like, wanting to return to them and have, like, a another start. Some of you are, like, you already got someone new on your mind. So let's have a look at their intentions towards you, and that's the Emperor. Aries energy, Six of Wands, Four of Swords reverse. Capricorn, you know if this person, even if they were to return in your life, which if it kind of feels like they'd be almost too stubborn to do so, but even if they were to return in your life, it feels like they'd only be there for the attention. It doesn't feel like they'd be there because they genuinely love you, because they don't, sorry to say, but it just feels like they'd be there for the attention that you give them. So having a look at your intentions towards them, and that's a Six of Pentacles reverse, okay? We have the Chariot reverse, Cancer energy. Nine of Swords reverse. I see, it, and this is good, I see you not really wanting to give to this anymore. It's like it used to worry you a lot. It used to stress you out a lot here. But I don't see that, if, like, it doing that much to you anymore. It's, and it feels like you don't really want to give to it anymore. You feel like it's it, you give it enough here. So as a result of that, I feel like you, you're kind of keeping it uh, as a halt.
Okay, so let's have a look at the outcome between you. That's the Knight of Cups. Ten of Swords reverse. Ten of Wands. You know, Cap Capricorn, I see you moving on from this person here, and I see you pursuing something else, or someone else. It's like this became... They're, they're literally... Even when they're around you, they don't make you as happy as they used to. It's like they stress you out, and, and I feel like you're going to find someone better. Okay, so let's have a look at the messages for you. We have retreat, heart to heart conversations, codependency, you have number 29 with imprisonment, summer, memories, separation, release. There's something happened between you in the summer, or you're gonna have someone coming up this summer that you can meet. I would possibly get in a relationship in, in the summer. Either way, it feels like since you know you kind of need to release this person. Like they're not good for you. It feels like you're stuck with them, or not really stuck. But when you're with them, there's the feeling of being stuck. Like it's not a good dynamic. So you kind of need to let them go because it's it's really not healthy. Okay, so Capricorn, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.